Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be solving one of the most pesky, annoying problems that plagues these cars. And it's this. Our shaky, horrible rear view mirror. It just bounces around. And our cars are not the smoothest that's ever been. So this thing rattles and vibrates and shakes all over the place. It does have the locking tab forward, so it'll hold it forward for a little bit, but as soon as you hit a bump, it falls right back down. So today we're gonna tackle this, we're gonna get it straightened out, get it stiffened up, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is remove the mirror itself. We're just gonna need a flathead screwdriver to get between the frame of the windshield and the actual mirror itself. What you'll have to do is get the flathead in there and give it a twist so that it'll pop out. There's just like a snap that this holds on to, and it seems like it takes a lot of force. Um, but just be gentle by trying to be strong at the same time. So we're going to get this one off. All right, so that wasn't so bad. Um, what I did is I went on the on the back side here. There's a little divot. I stuck the screwdriver in there and popped it forward and it popped right off. And you can see the little fingers that squeeze onto that and our, our metal uh, snap that that fits on. So do a little bit better than I did and actually have a hand ready to catch it. Um, we just got very lucky that it landed on those seats. So uh, next thing is, let's go to the bench. So we've got our mirror here on some bubble wrap just to keep it protected. And what we're gonna need to do is remove this outer snap. We can see our day night thing is just not good at all. So um, what we're gonna do in order to get nice and clean on here is we're gonna remove this outer trim. And you can see on top, it has this little snap. Looks like that one's already kind of popped off. Let's see if we can do the same thing on the other side. Get out our thin flathead. Let's see if we can do it on this side as well. All right. Just a little persuasion and get it to pop off. Should be able to kind of roll forward with it. There should be some snaps on the bottom as well. And I encourage those. I'm gonna break that old 40, 50 year old seal that's on there and it should come off. It looks like someone got a little happy with the hot glue to keep that, I guess, still. But that's, I don't know, I doubt that's original. That's pretty gross. Someone just lubed it up with hot glue, I guess. That's why I was fighting me so much. But we're gonna get this all cleaned up, clean all the inside, get some Windex out, get that all nice and clean all around the border, get that hot glue off. It's not doing us any favors. Uh, and see how much better we can make it. So after taking a good look at this, um, there's something I can tell right away is our day and night uh, trigger here on the bottom is broken off from the actual base because it's supposed to be like that, move it forward and backward for nighttime driving. That way you don't have headlights killing you um, while you're driving, but it's definitely two pieces. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera there, but it's supposed to attach there on the bottom and it's just completely gone. Um, the plastic just broke over time or misuse or something like that. And unfortunately, um, there's nothing I could really do to repair that except for, you know, maybe some um, RTV that's kind of flexible. But when the plastic's gone, it's gone. So we have a couple options. Either one, we can force it into this position. We can glue it back and just always keep it there. Um, and then just when it comes to nighttime driving, which hopefully won't be very often, but if we do have to do nighttime driving, We'll just kind of have to angle our mirror a little differently because we're not going to really be able to um, keep that attached because it just it's gone. So um, I'm gonna have to think on that one. My ultimate idea is just to think I just glue it in place and have it forward and be done with it. Um, just to keep the tab. I could pull the tab out, but I'll just keep it in there um, as part of the car. So let's get that glued down. We'll get this cleaned up, clean up all the rest of the components, um, then we can begin reassembly and start working on this so it's not so shaky all over the place.
right, so you saw me cut up some cardboard to take up some of the gap in the back behind the mirror, and now when I push it on the mirror, it doesn't move at all. Um, so that's a good way to start stiffening it up. The other thing we're gonna wanna do is take a, some small pliers or a flathead and get behind these, these little tongues, uh, little fingers, whatever you wanna call them here, and you wanna bend them in. This is part of why we're vibrating so much is on that snap, it's just rattling around. So we're gonna go around, uh, tighten these up, kind of bend them in some. Like I said, but you can go between a flathead, kind of twist it in, um, or those pliers, you can get them bent in a little bit. Over time, they've just been, you know, expanded and they lose their spring. And so that just kind of makes it uh, vibrate on that snap there. So we're gonna go around, take our time. We don't wanna break any of these off. Um, get them nice and springy again. And after that, what we're gonna do is put a little uh, piece of rubber if I have one, like a little rubber grommet, uh, a little tiny one or something like that to help take up some of this gap. That way there's less vibration in there as well. It has less room to move around um, when it's on the snap. So let's uh, get this all tight. I'll bring it back when we are ready to reassemble. All right, time to install the mirror. Um, we've got a little rubber grommet on the inside of those fingers there. So yeah, you guys can see that little rubber O-ring. We just took a grommet and we took some scissors and cut it down the, the long ways there. And now it's just big enough to fill up the gap made sure those fingers are nice and squished together. So what we should have to do, only have to do, is we line up the fingers with the snap here on top, squeeze it together, and it should snap in place. Just like that. Oh yeah. And we can see how much more stiff our mirror is. It's not wobbling around, you know, when I'm tapping it. It's not moving at all, so we lost all that vibration. A little rubber insulator really made a difference. Uh, that cardboard backing to really stiffen up the uh, mirror as well. Just take some Windex and clean that up to get all that off and sit in it and get some adjustment. But it's just so much more stiff. It's so nice not having that thing bounce around. Really straightforward, easy job. Um, only took literally a couple minutes and it saves you all the headache of the thing flopping all over the place. You can't see anything behind you and now you can actually use it. Well guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. This is a super quick, super easy episode to fix that shaking, vibrating mirror. And now as you can see, we're not shaking all over the place. We can actually see out of it with the car running. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It makes you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel. It helps me continue to make content like this to keep these cars on the road for generations to come. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, we'll see you.